welcome back to Switch to Linux. So uh, a lot of people have asked me to have another look at Solace, especially they just released Solace 3. And so we're going to look at Solace and I chose to look at Mate this time. Um, I did Budgie last time. Uh, so the three options right now are Budgie, Mate, and Gnome. And um, not a huge Gnome fan. Um, I've been liking Mate a lot more recently and I've been using Mate. Uh, with uh, my Ubuntu Mate build for my uh, my data backups, and so um, and I did a budgie uh, a budgie the other day um, a couple weeks ago maybe. So I just kind of wanted to look at Mate and see what the progress is with with Solus three. And so one of the things that uh, that I wanted to do and and something I've been I've been uh, actually talking about in internally in my own head for a while is um, looking at, for example, um, on DistroWatch. Um, now, of course, uh, Linux distros come and go. There's a new Farron OS out. I'll probably look at the Farron OS, uh, the new Farron OS soon. I want to see what, uh, what adjustments are made on that. But if you notice something that happened here, and this is something I've been predicting for a while, you'll see that Elementary has been moving down the list and Solus has been moving up the list. For about six months ago, or when, however long ago, maybe a year ago, whatever, Elementary kind of started to, to get out there and started to make this big push. Everyone's like, oh, this is a great distro. And the reality is, uh, I've looked at Elementary several times, and there's some good things about it for sure, but it just doesn't support the hardware that I think a, a lot of people uh, think it does. And so they have end up creating this weird fanboy base around, around it that there's a lot of people that wanted, really wanted elementary to work, but they just, um, they just couldn't work it, you know, for whatever reason. And elementary is, as a result, has really been moving down in the list. I think it was up as high as five at one point in time. But then Solus has been moving up, and now lately people are talking about Solus as being, you know, the next big Linux distro, and and uh, you know, so you hear you hear this, um, and I'm watching it kind of with a grain of salt um, because I really think that you know Mint and and uh, Debian, Ubuntu. Um, Arch, Fedora, I mean, I think those guys are just always going to be up there pretty high in the list. Other ones will come and go as packages come and go, and and um, you kind of see that. Uh, but really, Solus, the major advantages of Solus are um, it is its own system. It is its own Linux distro. It's not based on Ubuntu. It's not based on you know anything in particular. It's a fresh distro. Um, the software package uh, packages that are that are uh, within it has a, a clean and a fresh software center and so there's not a lot of excess junk in there like the first time I talked about Solus, um, you know I was talking about uh, what was the analogy I used I think I use the analogy of your kitchen cabinets if you're going to look into your kitchen cabinets there's probably stuff back there you haven't looked at in 10 years um, particularly if you haven't moved in a while. And uh, that's kind of the way the software packages uh, look in Ubuntu at times is there's just so much crap in there that doesn't work, isn't maintained. And the refreshing thing about Solace is that they've kind of taken things out and that they haven't, uh, that, that really haven't, um, uh, haven't worked or whatever else. Now, the weird part and the thing that I'm a little critical of is that while they happened to do that, um, another thing, though, that they end up inadvertently doing is making some interesting choices on some of the software packages. For example, Google Chrome is in the package manager, but Chromium is not. And a lot of people are like, we want Chromium because I want the functionality, but I don't want all the proprietary code on Google and they come back and say oh well you know it pulls in other things anyway and the reality is no it doesn't it did a few times and people made a big fuss about it and so they stopped doing that okay so chromium is it does have a lot of the the open sourceness to it and that's why people want it because I don't I, I think it works great okay Firefox works good, Chrome works good on any system I've used on it, but I don't want to use Google's proprietary stuff. And so on my Linux distros, I use Firefox and I use Chromium as my primary ones. Now I will be looking at Brave and I'll be looking at a few other um, uh, web browsers. I use uh, on my Linux computer here, I use um, um, Midori. On my Debian computer over here, Midori doesn't work, so I'm using Conqueror and, um, is that another one? I might have had another one as, as another backup as well. 
Um, but Midori wouldn't work on my Debian computer, so I'm using Conqueror over there. But in, in midst of all that, they have made a few of those controversial choices, and it's kind of a little weird to me. Now, the new version of Solace, though, does take care of a lot of that, and we're going to get into that here in just a moment. So let me uh, switch over and we'll have a look at the distro itself. All right, so I'm running Mate. You can see here that they uh, the guest editions on Solus Mate does not work for my um, for my um, uh, virtual box. Of course, I do of course use virtual box uh, to test the distros out, um, and it works just fine. Um, some people are like, eh, you don't need me. whatever. Okay, shut up. Virtual box comments. I might just go ahead and delete them. <laughs> I have addressed why I use VirtualBox, and that VirtualBox does a perfectly ample job, especially when you give the thing four cores and eight gigs of RAM, it does just a fine job. All right, it's just as snappy as it could be. Um, now, as far as this, um, I have installed a couple little packages. I'll talk about that in a minute, but let's have a look at the system as it is. I haven't changed anything other than installing a few packages as a test. Some of the things I like is, especially with this build with, with uh, Mate, we do again feel like we have that full operating system. We have a lot of the basic system utilities that we want in there. Um, I installed Krita, that was a test. This version does have the full LibreOffice suite pre-installed. That is something that they did not do on the last time I looked at Solace. I had to install it and uh, this was actually um, available for me uh, when I booted the system up. Uh, the, as far as the look, it is kind of a modern, flat look to it. Not my favorite uh, type of look, but uh, it'll do. I didn't even look at what desktop backgrounds we have to choose from or things yet. Um, let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, so you can see there's uh, there's a lot of them. Let's see. Let's go with something that says, says Solace here so I can... Oh. I, uh, I pushed the wrong button. That was my fault. No! I don't want to close the box. Cancel that. There we are. Okay. Close. Want to hit the close button on that one. There we go. That'll kind of match my background there too. So, all right. So um, we do all. Uh, I assume we can also change the icons as well. I can uh, have a look at those. Let's go into the appearance. So there's custom. There's arc. Arc dark. So a lot of the basic uh, the basic systems that I see installed here inside of. Um, uh, inside of Mate, there's your backgrounds, fonts, interfaces. All right, let me hit the customize icons. Okay, so we have we have my GNOME for my uh, and a way to for my older ones. Let's see what these ones look like. Huh. Well, these don't seem too bad. I'll go ahead and change those. So we have some icon packs, uh, some various icon packs that uh, that are decent. All right, administration. We have some basic systems over here. Education. I installed Stellarium. That was an, another one of my tests. Um, and I also installed. Let's see, is Chromium actually going to work? Hmm. We'll get into that um, in a minute. Can't tell if I just don't have an icon for that or what the deal is there. All right. Um, let's see. There's Office. Oh, there it goes. There's Thunderbird. Well, there's Thunderbird. Okay. Skip. Cancel. Close. Okay, it looks like it's maybe just this icon pack just doesn't have uh, doesn't have a Thunderbird thing. Let's that's weird. I'm just gonna go ahead and change that back. Hey, there's Chromium. There we are. There's Chromium, there's Firefox, and just icons we're missing for whatever reason. All right, here's basic uh, preferences, sound and video. We have Rhythmbox, VLC, system tools. 
Let's have a look at our power. Oh, that's power stats. So this is uh, this is the the menu that they give us within Mate. So it is, um, you know, it does give us a, a more advanced mem uh, menu there. We're running on just under a gig of RAM, which is good. CPUs are not uh, not overwhelmed. That's good. All right, so. Uh, the biggest major advantage that Solus has, now that debate with Chrome and Chromium was causing a little bit of an issue. Some people have even said they didn't, wouldn't use Solus because they didn't really seem to know the difference between Chrome and Chromium. Um, that's what I heard. I don't know if I, that's an accurate assessment or not. Um, but what I did find is that uh, with Solus 3, um, as of Solus 3, they now support the snap packages. And so that really resolved a lot of, uh, a lot of the, the issues. And so with the snap packages, you can install, um, you can install various uh, things such as Chromium now and anything else inside of the snap system. So I installed Stellarium. Um, I installed Krita. So anything that is available now inside of a snap package, you can install. Now this is excellent. Now snap packages on Ubuntu don't make as much sense in, in a way. Um, but on a system like this where the, the uh, software available in the repository is fairly light, then the snap packages is an awesome thing. So if you don't know what the snap package is, this was Kind of started by Ubuntu, and the idea is that you take your packages and you package everything together with all of its dependencies inside of one package as a means to distribute software across Linux distros in a much better format. Kind of like, um, if I dare use the analogy, like a Windows uh, install file, which will bring everything with it that it needs, well, hopefully. And so um, with this, uh, the snap packages is excessively nice when you're talking about um, a distro that has so uh, so light of an amount of packages in its own software center, because now I can also bring in anything else that they didn't have have packaged. And that's actually pretty nice. So you can actually just go right into the, to the Snap Package site here, and you can search for anything that you might want um, by, based on your categories or whatever else. And then um, what you can do here is just figure out so here's you know next cloud. So basically, uh, to install a snap package on Solus, um, this is why I did this just as a test. You want to do sudo snap install and then just whatever the name of it is. So I'm assuming that this is next cloud, which I really start need to look into soon here because. Um, um, I either want to do either own cloud or next cloud, some type of cloud system in my office. Uh oh, that's my password. One of the things I didn't like about the install base of uh, of the system is it did not let me choose just any old password I wanted. I just want to do a simple Solus password. It would not allow me to use that, so I did Solus Solus this time. You can see here that now it will install this without a big deal. So if you do know where the snap packages are, this is a very nice way of installing packages to the Linux distro, um, especially how light it is. So as far as Solus is concerned, that is the biggest major thing with Solus now is it really is moving to that area where you can really use a whole lot more of the applications that you may not have, have had the options to before. Um, and so it is moving up as as a better system. I think it's still a little bit more locked down than most Linux distros um, could be. And so I don't know. That's just kind of a kind of an impression, a personal opinion that I get. So there you can see it's installed. So I should be able to access it now. Whoa. Hmm. Can't seem to find it. <clears throat> well, it said it was installed. I don't see it anywhere. Hmm. I don't know. Well, it's supposed to be installed. Maybe it'll show up when I reboot the system. I don't know. I've never used Nextcloud. I just happened to see it was in there. So, anyway, um, this is Solus. Um, again, this is the uh, Solus 3.
Biggest advantage, they added the uh, the snap packages. Um, three different distro or three different desktop environments. This one's Mate. You also have the Budgie and you have Gnome. Um, I actually like their Gnome build too. It's uh, very nice how it was set up. Uh, so it is a it is a good up and coming distro. Do I think it's really going to take over Ubuntu or Mint or Debian or Fedora? Eh, probably not. Um, but it certainly is going to be um, a a uh, distro to watch, especially in um, having the ability to install the snap packages now is uh, is uh, an advantage in moving in the right direction. So uh, that is uh, that is Solace. Uh, just a brief uh, brief update for people curious about it. Um, I'm liking it. It's pretty cool. Um, again, I'm not sure I'm ready to, to move to it entirely, but um, it certainly is a very nice distro if you're looking for something uh, something new, something modern, and you're not already tied to a distro like I am. Yeah, I'd definitely consider Solace. Um, it is working. It's uh, working very well, and you know that's uh, that's certainly worth consideration. So thanks for watching. Um, Again, if you would like to help uh, support what we are doing here, you can find uh, a support options at switchtolinux.com forward slash support. As of this video, we have Patreon and we have uh, Amazon links down below. You can find those. And I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.